हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो इन लाइव वायर थ्री सीरीज आई एम उमेश राणा एंड यू आर वाचिंग प्रोग्रामिंग फ्रेंड्स इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ लाइव वायर थ्री सीरीज वी सॉ हाउ वी कैन सेटअप द लाइव वायर थ्री इन लरावेल इलेवन एंड डिस्कस्ड सम फंडामेंटल कंसेप्ट ऑफ लाइव वायर ऑल्सो वी क्रिएटेड आवर वेरी फर्स्ट कम्पोनेंट इन लाइव वायर थ्री but today we will see how we can pass the data to the component and also we will know how live wire works behind the hood by performing some actions or events live wire performs ajax call to perform any action or events so in this video we will see this step by step and understand how live wire works behind this hood so let's get started so i already created one component in live wire 3 here and i displayed one message through this component if i will show you the code then here this is our component hello world and i just added one text here and this component is rendered inside this home.bladephp so we saw how we can render the live wire components in laravel blade file and also we saw how we can render the component directly in the route all right now today we will see how we can pass data to the components so here inside app live wire hello world.php this is our component class so from this component class we will pass the data to this component view so live wire follows the simple architecture of laravel so any attribute which are public here in this class file that will be directly accessible in the view file so let's suppose if i will define any public variable here just like public message and if i will initialize any message hey this is dynamic message okay then in live wire we don't need to pass this dollar message variable to this view it will be directly accessible inside this view file so let's suppose if i want to print this message here as dollar message let's say let's come to the browser let's refresh it yes we can see this message is directly rendered here in the component view now let's understand this one so inside this class file we have defined this dollar message variable and i have defined this variable property as public so in laravel generally we pass any data or variable to the view through the compact function or directly by passing the array of data just like compact all right and here in this compact function we pass this message variable like this but in live wire the public property does not required to pass in the view using this compact or anything it will be directly accessible here in this blade file but if you will define any private variable here just like private greetings and here i will specify a message just like welcome to the programming fields all right so here i have defined this variable as private dollar greetings now if i will try to access this variable directly in the blade file all right then this will throw error so let's check this let's refresh it yes it said undefined variable dollar greetings all right because that private variable is not accessible in the blade file so in order to access this private variable we will have to pass this in the form of array so here i will define one associative array key as uh, greetings and here i will pass this dollar this greetings okay now let's come to the browser let's refresh it yes now the private variable is accessible here similarly if you will pass any protected variable protected message will come to live wire 3 then in the same way we will have to pass this array i will define protected msg dollar this we can print this variable here let's refresh yes this is accessible now so we saw how we can pass the data from this component class to component view file okay similar to this string messages we can pass any numeric or other data type so let's suppose if i will add one variable as public dollar counter equals 1 all right and here i have defined this counter variable as public so this will be directly accessible here in the component view file i will display 
काउंटर डॉलर काउंटर लेट्स रिफ्रेस यस काउंटर इज एक्सेसिबल नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन परफॉर्म एनी एक्शन सो इफ विल कम टू द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन वी शाव हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट कंपोनेंट एंड ऑल्सो वी शाव हाउ वी कैन पास डेटा टू द कंपोनेंट्स यर ओके नेक्स्ट वी हैव द प्रॉपर्टीज सो वी ऑलरेडी शाव हाउ वी कैन डिफाइन properties in the class and how we can display that to the view now in the next step we will see how we can define any actions all right so for defining any actions livewire provides different functions okay so there are list of functions just like submit click model all right so here what we will do we will create one button here so let's create one simple button i won't define any type of this button as submit or button this will be a normal button and here i will give a text as increment okay let me refresh it yes this is increment now i want to increment this counter value when i will click on this increment button okay so for this i will have to bind one on click event for this button so to perform this action livewire provides directives so there are couple of directives here just like wire click wire submit all right so with this directive we can bind the actions so here with this button i want to bind the click action so here i will write wire colon click and inside this click action we will have to pass one function name that will perform this action so let's suppose i want to define one function as increment so here inside this wire click i have passed one function as increment now in order to perform this wire click we will have to define this function in this class component so inside this class component we will have to define one function as public function and that function name will be increment okay now inside this increment function we can define our logic to increment this counter value so we can write dollar this counter plus plus so this will increment the value of this counter by 1 all right and here as soon as this counter will be incremented it will be automatically updated to this dollar counter variable and when this counter variable is updated this will be automatically populated here in this counter variable let's come to the browser let's refresh it once and let's click on this increment yes we can see this click event is working without refreshing this page here this counter is continuously incrementing and this page is not refreshing here so this is the magic of live wire all right now if we we'll reload this page this counter will be resetted to 1 again if we we'll try to increment yes this is incrementing now if you want to see the working hood of live wire then you will have to open the developer console and here in the network tab let me zoom it all right let me reload this once and here i will select fetch xml http request now if i will click on this increment then you can see here it performed one ajax call and the url is livewire/update and inside this payload if we will check it passed components and token so inside this components we have the components array and here it passed snapshot data and message so here when i clicked on this increment button in the payload of ajax call it passed the entire component and if you we'll check the preview then in the preview again it returned the components so here inside this component a snapshot here it returned the updated value of this counter so behind the hood live wire re render the component asynchronously when you perform any action and here your page won't be refreshed okay now if you will copy this url and if you will try to search this url in the routing file then you won't be able to find this here in the route we don't have any route defined to live wire slash update all right then from where it is performing this action so to understand this better let's come to the terminal and here let's type 
php artisan route colon list yes so in this route list we can see it given live wire routes so here related to live wire we have the post route as live wire slash update and live wire slash upload file all right so these two routes are different this slash upload file will be used when we will upload file so this will trigger this file upload controller and this handle function but when you perform a normal request this will trigger this live wire slash update so this is referring to this handle request controller but if you'll come to the application and if you'll search inside http controllers we don't have any handle request controller then from where that is triggering so this is coming from this live wire so if you'll scroll down and come to this vendor folder inside this vendor you will have this live wire folder and inside this live wire under the src we have the mechanisms folder so if we'll expand this mechanism folder inside this we have the handle requests so let's go inside this handle request folder and here we have the handle request dot php class all right so when we perform any event or action in the component that is directly triggering to this live wire slash update and that request is coming to this handle request class so inside this handle request class we have the boot function okay and here we have one route defined as live wire slash update and this has the web middleware applied here okay now if you scroll down here we have the handle update function so inside this handle update function we have the request payload variable and that is accepting request components so this request components is referring to this payload request that is coming from this ajax request so inside this ajax request payload we saw this is passing components as a payload here and this components is captured here in this request payload all right and after capturing that component as a payload here it will perform the action and it will store that as a snapshot and then after performing the action this will update that a snapshot and then it will return that as a response here all right so this is how this live wire is working behind the hood of this ajax call so on every ajax call this will re-render this component and this will update the data here all right similar to this increment we can define the decrement function as well so let's create one more button here and let's change this text to decrement and here we will have to define one function as decrement all right let's copy this function name let's come to the component class and here let's define one function again as public function decrement and this will simply decrement the counter value all right now we don't have to pass anything because this counter will be updated automatically based on the public property let's refresh it once here we have the increment and decrement button so let's try to decrement yes value is decrementing and here this is incrementing now all right folks that's all for this video we saw how we can pass data from the component class to the component view and also we performed click events and understood how does live wire work behind the hood i hope this video will give you a clear understanding of fundamental of events and data accessibility in live wire component in the upcoming videos we will dig deeper in live wire components data handling event handling form validation and many other interesting features so stay tuned with programming fields and if you find this video helpful then don't forget to like and share this video to your fellow developers and also subscribe to the programming fields for more laravel and live wire tutorials and tips like this see you soon in the next upcoming videos until then happy coding